Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined from Brag from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. I feel like you skipped a word in that title opening. And the do you want me going to do too. anything about that? No, no, no. I just want to just want to bring that up. I feel like the pacing is going to be off. Oh yeah, this is going to be terrible. We're hot. We're sweaty. We're cranky. We're old. Well, I'm only one of those. I'm only one of those uh, things. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> nah, you're right. You're going all right. My barber hit me on uh, yesterday with the. Uh, it's more gray to see than normal. And I was like, <laughs> oh, oh no! Yeah, I know. <laughs> I see them in that the mirror. Just the stress. Just the stress. Yeah, let's go with that. That's, uh, that's so rude. Well, like, lately we have been like, you know, just like, we surgically removed their greys in my fringe. Surgically. And then he was like, there's getting to be more of them. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> my barber said the same. Welcome to the life of Ben getting my hair cut. And getting old. What an exciting life it is. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Ben. So Yu-Gi-Oh this week gave me more reasons to have grey hairs. Um, <laughs> my leading round of streak is long over. I can't remember if it was over last weekend. No, it wasn't. Now it's over. It's over. It's all come crashing down. Ended first round on Tuesday. And it's it's just been a abysmal week. Like, no good hands coming anywhere. Today I never got a hand trapped. I just never really had a hand to really to do trap. much. <laughs> like, those times where I was like, ah, I've opened four hand traps and an, and an elephant. Like, mm. oh, yeah. Doesn't really do much, does it? Um, yeah. Hasn't been great. On Tuesday, I didn't get the chance to play at all for the most part. I got hand trapped at every single possible point. Today, it was a case of, deck just doesn't do enough. Like, when your opponent's kind of know that your interaction points the deck doesn't do enough yeah it's yeah so which way you gonna mix it with snake eyes yes all of it yes but you can't do that yet so um i'm now in the state of being like we're two weeks out so we're like we're like four locals from having the new stuff i really really would like the like early Konami boxes to happen and start opening just so I know financially what things are going to look like so I can decide whether or not I even want to be playing Viking it's only the one card you didn't oh well and the Promethean as well I suppose yeah. if, um, if, but yeah those two cards are like the only real ones you need if to run if Poipol's a secret I'm Which probably not playing Viking interesting I don't I don't want to drop another what 250 on that 250 on a good day is what I'm willing to spend for the bonfires. I feel like it should be super. But it's it should be, be super because it should the be super. Is super. Yeah. Like, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be. And it's going to be fucking stupid that they do it. Yeah. Like, they're gonna. They had the decency with uh, the other stuff uh, with Bestial to at least print them all super. And they even did Baldrake as a common. Baldrake probably should have been super too. It should have been super too. <laughs> Maybe this will be common. There's a chance they do Poipal common. Precedent is there. Surely not. Um, but no, they're going to print it as a secret. It's going to be like a hundred and something dollars a secret. And I'm not paying that much money to play this deck. Like, considering like we already have to pay to go to YCS. Mm -hmm. Like, hotel ain't cheap this year. Because the cheap hotel up their prices. So like, yeah. I'm probably just going to play something else and have fun. We might circle full back around to Ben playing Goblin at YCS. Um, goblin mode for YCS. That in, I will gladly pay a hundred bucks for a Goblin engine and have fun. Uh, yeah. Outside of that... You're going to sell the Wanted engine for cash out of it? Or? No, I'll keep the Wanted engine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, outside of that, I've been testing... Uh, Lightsworn. Lightsworn. That's it. I made some proxies... This, this one is uh, yeah. Cla classic first card yep <laughs> always the card you open um but yeah I'm really keen for that so I'd rather just not spend the money on Fire King if it's gonna be expensive cause I I'm literally just gonna play it for YCS and then be like don't wanna touch this deck again I wanna play Lights more so yeah that's where the, my, my week in yu gi is and where my headspace is at going forward um uh, am I gonna play a fun deck for the next two weeks maybe um, 
I'll figure that out when I figure that out. I passed my turn. Right. So it was building Budget Fire King and very much came into that thing as well. Like, So with the budget one, it's all two card combos. And yeah. then also you go into the same interaction points. Like you just have the same problems that you do as the main build. Yeah. And it's like, oh God, this is terrible. So like I could see it going okay, but we'll see. But that's a work in progress. And by budget, I mean one mummy and then the rest. Yeah. So it's still not even full budget. But not really. No. No. Uh, otherwise, Master Jewel, Gay Guardian, amazing. And by amazing, I mean terrible. <laughs> but still, like you can just run over. You can just run over so many crazy decks, and people just don't read them. So no. <laughs> even I'm somewhat aware that they do, and I still get demolished because I also don't read two spell activations. Yeah. When me and Bragg were sitting at the basketball last night, I was playing because I realized that the fucking the dual pass reset 17 days so I was like well gotta do it it's exactly what so I, I was <laughs> playing away and then I played against Gate Guardian my opponent summoned that and passed and I was like huh okay um like put a monster in bin activate the Ad Emancipator Reset respawn spell negates it activate the other one in my hand negates it activates Brilliant Fusion win <laughs> yeah yeah it's and then it bricks so much so often but also there's just times where like you've got one Fenrir one Birth oh, I'm running two Unicorn and just they will just win games if you just you're like okay yeah all of those are the only cards I've seen in this game everything else is crap mm. oh cool I'm still winning here because they just can't get around <laughs> Fenrir Banish uh, yeah so grinding that out uh, I'm holding out for Chimera soon but oh well, we'll get to that will we? actually no I don't think we will there's, yeah there's nothing really that no no there's nothing at all uh otherwise yeah I don't want to buy Bonfire sorry Tom then don't uh, but do I want to I want to have Bonfire don't pay $120 for it no no I'm thinking I'll pay 70 40 <laughs> 40 I'm in at that. Yeah, the entire player base would be in at that. However, there's it's a difference between the point we're at now, which is it's too high and it's not good enough, and the point that you guys wanted at, where it's too cheap to not be good at that price. It's, it's only, turn. It only searches a pirate. Like, come on. It has want, one card in the game that it's good at searching. You want the new level one to be a common. Mm -hmm. You want Bonfire to be 40. That's simply not the way things are done. Precedence there, Jake. The precedence is that if it's a good card, it gets a higher rarity printing. That's the only precedent that matters. Baldrake was a common. And Baldrake doesn't get played. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Sometimes mm. you need an extra generic Sometimes. card you can search. Sometimes. Not all the time. That's a tech choice. It's not a staple card for decks. It's but it's bad. Played. It's bad. But it's played. It's bad. Anyway, moving on. My week. Oh, I was going to say, Brandon's so cooked on Master Jewel. Oh yeah, it's just. But it doesn't have a solo mode, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but it's just stuff on stuff. I'm like, if I play this deck, I'm just going to brick on this. But they just every every time I go branded, they just got plays for days. Everything. Even yep. when I have the negates up and the semi. Yeah, like if you it. have the Bissiel to get rid of the Albaz, they've got the branded lost, so that you can't activate it within the window. If you have the Ash for the branded fusion, they've got cross out slash call by. It's it's a whole thing. It's sometimes you get to open good cuts. Sometimes your opponent opens good cuts. Yeah, however, there's not enough on this hand. I need more on this hand. Because I'm not opening enough good cuts. Just open Brain Infusion. I haven't, I haven't been playing Brandon anyway. Um, yeah, so moving on to my week. Um, still on Hawkist. Um, I've been thinking of some engines to mitigate the resource loss from hand. Like that's one? No. So I will be working on getting those integrated into the deck, um, just finding out which ones I want to use first. Um, also want to pick up three of the uh, Jack Atlas structure decks so that I can get the level two fiend and start doing all that nonsense too. Oh yeah. Because I feel like just having a Barone on the board is also fun. Mm -hmm. Fun's probably not the right word, but it's good. Oh, that's another game I've won with um, where it's uh, Kashtira, Birth Out, uh, Sang of the Thunder. 
Normal summon Ash. Make in, a Baron. Hopefully, in a Baron. Win. <laughs> <laughs> Some decks can't get past one negate. Um, so yeah, we'll work on that. Could have worked. Well, actually, no, I couldn't really have worked on it over the weekend because I had too much going on. Um, other than that, the locals haven't been too bad. My worst matchup in terms of local decks at the moment is uh, Runic for highest sprite. He could be saying anything right now. Oh yeah, he could be, but it probably won't be. Oh, he's so doing this. Okay, sure. Your worst. Eh. <laughs> oh, March. and you're not even yeah. playing that guy. How many abs is that? It's so many wrinkles. Now, yeah, hopefully, I'm in the same get... position so that the mic sync is not ruined anymore. We're gonna put. We're gonna get an iron for this. Yeah. Anywho, um, so yeah, I will work on that soon. Uh, Master Duel, a uh, few things going on, uh, but in the main thing, still just playing Sword Soul because it's just very simple, and that's what I like. I don't want to have to think. I just want to put Speaking about the Synchros on the board, and then if they beat it, great. If they can't, great. Great. Um, so, moving on to some news, we start with Master Duel. So, our n current event that's running at the moment is the, what's it called again? Theme Chronicle. Uh, so they're doing this one again, so it's decks that are heavily uh, seen in the solo modes <coughs> as well as a couple other bits and pieces that they're like, the power's not high enough for us to worry too much about this. Um, so, uh, in terms of gems, there's 3100 in, in the main... In terms of gems? Gem Knight's illegal. Yeah. Great segue there, Jake. Yeah. Sometimes I don't respect you enough for your segues. The segue's over, stop talking about Gem Knights. Okay, there's 3100... Is Lats one? In this? Could be. No one's playing it. I need to check. Anyway, uh, so what the fuck are you doing? He's where did, at the lights. Yeah, where did Minerva's owl go? Oh no, there it is. Found it. I was gonna say there's definitely an owl there. In the new one, yeah, on the top left. There's smaller. The owl needs to be its own card. Lights one owl. Who does? Level yeah. one tuna. That's a pyro on a fire. <laughs> no. Um, Kills your wife. So yeah, there's thirty one hundred. Jesus, there's 3,100 gems on offer in the main event as well as like the theme chronicle um, things to do for your daily tasks and whatnot. So I haven't even opened that menu. There's gems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, 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 lots of gems on offer. So it's definitely worth doing if you need to build up your gems. Uh, mm. I think I've just got up to the first like milestone as such, where you get the uh, Rika Princess icon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so then that's a. 5,500 at 16,000 you get the that? S Force Night Chaser icon. Oh. It's the Link one. I don't need that. Oh. No one needs that. No one needed the card. No one needs the icon. I mean, it's not a terrible looking monster to be fair. It's just a terrible monster. What do I play? S Force at YCS. You could do that. S but it mean you need to learn what S Force does. That is true. Did you pick up Bonfires yet? No. Yeah. Because the new, the new Pyro deck could be interesting as well. Oh yeah, we'll talk, to, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Will we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I didn't realise we know anything. We don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we talked about it. So for the event, obviously you can build your own decks. They have three loners available. Mm -hmm. uh, so Crawler is the first one. Uh, then they've got... Uh, Sorry to the Crawler gamers out there. But yeah, ugh. all five of you. Uh, they've got the Gluttonous Shadows, which is uh, Vendreds. Sorry, Seb. <laughs> Vendred's fine. Yeah. Uh, and then the third one is Swordsman of the Mist Dragons. Guess what that is? Uh, what, what, what would you put with Mist Valley? Is it Lights one? No. Damn. What, is is there someone with Mist Valley? What, what? There's only one word in this that actually gives you a clue to what it is. Oh. Warriors. No. Sword. No, that's Mist. not the word. Yes, that's the word. It's... Mist it's Worm Dino Mist! Oh, we what the that. hell? I forgot that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, Swordsman is in... Um, what's the word I was looking for? Refers. Reference yeah. of the Draco Slayers. Oh! And then the oh, dragon okay, yeah, so I guess, also full. in reference yeah. to that. But yeah, not, not great. Um... And then, yeah, obviously a whole bunch of stuff is banned in order to make the event work. Because if good decks were in there, you'd just play those. 
Uh, also, they have updated a bit. Uh, they've added some new animations. So I think the uh, Nouvelle, the big ritual dinner archetype, its boss monster gets a animation of its own. Um, and the Transcendosaurus, yeah, super late. The Transcendosaurus also gets one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even the one that you play, it's the level 12. Yeah. Yeah, the level 12 bait. Yeah. However, it looks cool. Looks cool, is bad though. Uh, we get some gold prize, gold pride gold assets pride, as well. Uh, so sleeves and a deck box. Uh, which is more than our store ever got. We've got a deck box in real life. Mm. Not that deck box. Well, close enough. <laughs> and the, no, the see, sleeves. It says, it says first on it. Yours doesn't say first on it. Has anyone bought the sleeves yet? I saw someone with the sleeves. Turn? I oh, yeah, because I mean, they've been sitting there for like months. <laughs> I came and bought the sleeves because I was the one that convinced the store to get them in. Oh, uh, that's right. And then yeah, I realized yeah. there were a 50 sleeve pack and I was like, yep. why would I buy these? Well, I didn't want to buy them because I didn't have any of the the the, the clear sleeves. But they, they've got them, but now they're in. So, maybe. And we also get a gold pride background for your main menu, which is. Eh. Do they have a field yet? No. Uh, well, when we get a field, maybe I'll consider it. Maybe, maybe. Again. Uh, moving on to some other news, uh, we are obviously uh, into the time frame where Maze of Millennia is out. Um, so we know a lot more about the set now. Um, so as we discussed before, um, the... Did we know everything last time? We didn't know everything last oh. time. I think it was like a just after podcast uh, conversation as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, we now know that the pull rates of Bonfire are a bit higher than what we'd originally thought. Because everyone was like, it's short printed. Well, I mean, likelihood was that it could have been. Konami haven't short printed a card in those sets ever. The side sets. Until now. No, in the even these rare ultra That's print what I mean, sets. side sets. Yeah. Do they short print in Tosh? Nope. Oh. However, they did short print something this time. Yep. Which was? Oh, it's the thrust. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, it's they, an old they, they short printed thrust. Yeah, so I think it's on average like one and a bit per case. It's at this point that Ben <laughs> would like to hop on his, short, his soapbox for this week. So, people like... get off the soapbox? I... yes. <laughs> um, so... Where was I with my thought? People are, people are going on about how, Oh, they short printed thrust. Oh my god. What are we going to do? A, um, is it in... It probably could end up being in Ready Collection 2. We'll get to that. Yep. Um, however... Uh, it's an 11 ultra set and these are normally either 15 or 10 uh, they clearly very much just decided to throw an extra one in at the last second uh, and it was thrust and hey uh, they didn't short print it so okay, so oh, they didn't short print the good other good ones they didn't short print bonfire and like yeah or harmonic synchro just, fusion mm, like yeah. uh, they've done they've done worse and also eh, thrust you can get away like most people are chasing one or two and like there'll be if you're going to be chasing three, you'd be better hope if they go on the playset. I chase zero. <clears throat> I don't know, just one of the extra, one of the sides, pretty much all you need need. So yeah. you, you'll find an ultra of, in the next few months. People will be put in your trade binders, trade for it. It'll turn up. And then it'll be, yeah, ready to collection two, tens this year, and probably going to start a deck in two years it's, time. And by the end of this year, it's going to be cheap. You don't have to complain about it in January. For YCS 2025. Just get the ulti. Yeah, pull that. Yeah, I'm trying. I was a bit miffed that I didn't pull it today. What's the ulti going for? Uh, last I saw, it was like 180. 180? That, that may have come down. That's a lot. Oh, have, I was going to say that's all right. Like, I mean, it may have come down since then too, because now there's a third printing. Surely up. thrust doesn't. Th surely th ulti thrust doesn't go below 120. You wouldn't think so. But Ever. But it depends not, if they give it a printing in the rarity collection. It's not that good. No, it depends not. on the deck. That's Even then, it's not very good. It depends on the deck. Prefer talents. Both are. Yeah. I run neither. But every time I put it into my deck, I've been like, time to play this card. No. No. Again, Just one extra copies to change art. Apparently, I need to say this again. Depends on the deck. No. Yes. Back up on the soapbox. 
Do you reckon they were foreshadowing Twilight? Never lose the soapbox. Being... The soap he lives on the soapbox. Wait, sleeps on the soapbox. Which one's got Twilight Swan printings? This one? That one? That yeah. one? That one? Did he get like Twilight Swan? I thought no, that. Oh no, it's that guy. Yeah, that guy. Jane, and then, Jane, yeah, and then the Raiden. doggo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where doggo? Where is Riker? Oh, here there he is. is. So do you reckon their legs being in the darkness was foreshadowing that they're dead? Like, Twilight Swan print? He got a no. punishment dragon? That's Sorry, I'm derailing this with this light swan talk. Sorry, my bad. He's next, really next in on case this point. Uh, deck that doesn't come out for four months? Yes. Just need to relax a little bit, buddy. Just turn it down just a little. Down oh, a it's a good card on bottom. He's just resolved a fusion, I reckon. Yes, because there's a Merly here. Moving on, uh, since we spoke about it before, uh, Rarity Collection was so good, they've given us Rarity Collection 2. Uh, so not only did people not think we are going to get it, it uh, they didn't think it'd be quite so soon, because uh, this one early. releases in, in May. Uh, so a couple of differences with this one. Obviously the carpool's going to be different, which I'll go over in a second. But also the packaging um, and number of cards you get per set is also different now. What? Um, so yes. we get more cards in two <laughs> secrets, uh, each with an individual one in four chance of being upgraded to Platinum Secret or Quarter Century. Yeah. Uh, four Ultras, each with an individual one in six chance of being upgraded to a Prismatic Style Collector's or Prismatic Style Ultra. Mm -hmm. By the laws of lazy math, this increases your likelihood of getting the others. They aren't individually, remember, when you do lazy math, they aren't individually increased. It's a one in two chance of getting the, the good cards. Lazy 50 50? And three Lazy sisters. math. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be, I think, less packs per box, but more cards per pack. What? Oh, wait, how many, how many packs are in a box? And what's RRP? Well, they have not given us the number of packs that are designated to be in a box. All they've said is we've cut back on packaging, so there'll be fewer packs you'll need to open and fewer wrappers to throw away. They're just going to do those little five-pack satchels like they do in the OCG, and they're going to charge $140 for them. I like the clock. They're going to do those five-pack satchels like they do in the OCG, and they're going to charge a fortune for them. We'll see. I mean, wait, yeah, so, like, if, if we're talking that, so it'll be double the size. That was seven card packs, yeah? <coughs> so it's going to be 14 card satchels? No, so I'm getting it. There's going to be, a, like, a little mini box with five packs inside. Yeah. And that's what you're going to be getting. So five seven oh, card yeah. packs. Yeah, and then... Because okay. they're limiting packaging by putting less packs inside of a whole box, therefore... Meaning people have to open more boxes, producing more rubbish. Good work. Why do you hate the forest, Jerome? Yeah. I mean, their entire company is about making cardboard. You reckon that'll ever come, like, to bottom? You think, like, that will be a talking point ever? I mean, we're, we're starting it now, I guess. At least the cards are biodegradable. Oh, yeah. It's the actual, like, it's more packet. But like is. only commons are biodegradable once you start foiling them. That's true. Who will start pushing them to be sustainable? Um, Get a Thumberg. That's yeah. her next thing. She's going to go against her own. How dare you! It's a. It's a reference. Anyway, um. In my all <laughs> time top 10 list of shit things that made me cringe, that's now up there. That one? What? Yeah. What, referencing this like me yeah. having done it just now or her having done it you having done it again when do you ever leave your soapbox oh, this isn't a soapbox oh it fucking is because the amount of this ridiculous shit you say and no. I am kind enough to that not, not call cringe. you out on it yeah but the shit I don't say is a cringe it fucking is anyway moving right along because fuck you uh, cards that have been announced for this so far we have access code talker I remember Greta saying that I remember her saying that. Oh. Yeah, she, she said that to Trump. I was about to say Biden. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so wait. No, what did she say? The first thing to do. She said the first thing to Trump. No, she yeah. said that to the the, the general she said that assembly to, like, of Konami. <laughs> she went right up to the big five. Oh yeah! yeah. Now big I remember. Five. Anyway, right she had the little she, she had the teddy bear. Did she <laughs> sail around the world and then say she did it up by herself? But in reality, her parents paid millions of dollars to make sure she did it safely. 
What? Is that her? I don't fucking know. She's looking for the face of the Zodiac. Did, I thought she did something and then was like, I'm famous now. She in, did. In reality, to... I just come from money. Yeah. Anywho. Money likely with blood on it. Access code talker, magician souls, uh, the silent magician and swordsman, uh, droll lockbird, uh, rescue cat, IP mascarina, phantasme. All tarts. Yeah, I was getting to that. I was reading through all the old tarts first, you fuck. But we already have these, so they're just going to put them in new rarities again? Yes. yes. Oh, it's going to be the, um, it's going to have all the Sky Striker stuff in there eventually, yeah? Yes. Fuck it, hope not. Anyway, uh, Ghost Mourner, <laughs> uh, Ghost Ogre, uh, Appalooza without Appalooza in it. Um, the three uh, all, field spells. Oh, four, four. All the planets. Four field spells. Yes. There's only four planets in the solar system. <laughs> also, no, no altar access code? Yet. <laughs> Moral sword's going to be in part there. Of, part of me hopes, hopes so much that they put that really shit artwork of access code yeah. that people were spruiking as like the alt art reprint. Then they've got to pay the the person on DeviantArt that knows how to use MS Paint. No, they don't. They just tell him that they won't sue him for copyright infringement. Okay. <laughs> Predictions for what's going to be in there. Alistair. The author? Well, yeah, of course. Good Potted guess read. There. And hopefully the Macabre and Invocation alt arts as well that we have not received yet. Well, this is a- wait, you said April? May. May. The 24th of May? Hmm. 23rd of May. Oh, May. What, what will they be looking to go into then? Oh, maybe some Yubel stuff. Yubel? Yeah. Was Dark Hole in the last one? Yes. In Rarity Collection? Yes. Shit. Why did I pull one? I still haven't found my box. Dark Hole was in the last Rarity Collection? It was in something recently, wasn't it? Oh, now he's just lying. No, it me. wasn't in the Rarity Collection. Oh, was God. It? Now they're both like. No, it was. I was a Battle, I was battle of the Legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's been recent, just not that recent. Heavy Storm. But it did have a QCR. Yeah, that. Yeah, Why so they do a Heavy that? Storm reprint if it's not legal? They'll make it legal. I raised the point at Locals today that they should do a Rarity Collection of the ban list. Yes, I agree. Do you really, though? Yeah, you know why I want it. Yeah, but do you actually want it? Yeah, I'll, you, yeah. You print a rarity collection of the ban list, you do it once, it covers all the cards so you don't have to emergency reprint them when you bring them back. Hmm. Yeah. But they like to do that. Plus, most of the cards yeah. they like to bring back these days have an errata attached. When they emergency reprint them, they print What's them the as point? like some shit, really accessible rarity, and it's just like, what's the point of doing this as a cash-in? All this is is to put Coolant on the secondary market. Which I'm not saying that's not what the rarity collection's for. But I'm saying, like, just get it all out of the way now. Just be like, bam. We reprinted everything. You don't He's right about the erratas, though. With blank text boxes. So that you, you can write in your own. Two erratas. <laughs> Once per turn, uh, you win. <laughs> nah, <laughs> sure. This is magic erratas. Full arts. They won't ever Give do me that. a full art magical science. There's too much... Uh, there's too much text to do a full art. But that's what I'm saying. But like, so, but since they will only unban those cards with erratas, you just don't put text on there and say that the one from the database is the one that's most up, like, is the current. Yes. Yeah, so they're going to print the vanilla connection collection. Only vanillas, but they have full arts. But they don't want the flavor text. You can put the flavor text there. Yeah. Have it so that it um, links up to the year when you go to like scan it to like reveal what it is. It comes up with a little um, box. Oh and yeah, yeah, it like out. yeah. How long Check until this out. which you can't mute? No. How long until RFID chips are so small that they can replace the hologram in the bottom corner of cards? With and them? then we can pl finally play dual discs. Yes, but then they won't be recyclable and biodegradable anymore. Oh well, Greta's gonna be angry. Jerome, also, look into this when technology. When did this come over here? <laughs> what? Huh? When when did the deck come over here? It uh, was over Brad, there. It was always Brad there. Grabbed it. it fucking wasn't. Um, yeah. I, I want to see that tech exist within the next five years of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Just little RFID chips, right, replacing the hologram. Then you play in VR. Yeah. Big money, 
And then you can use them for virtual games. You can do whatever you want. Make it happen, Konami. I play. You can then reprint all the cards again and cash in on the reprints again. Packs will be a little more expensive because the cards are a little more expensive now. But there'll be less packaging. Less packaging. And then your cards can live forever. forever. Until they're bad. Sorry, I'm just running concepts that could be cool for Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Yeah. Anyway, uh, next bit of news. We've got the release date for the valuable book EX4 for the OCG. Uh, so it's going to be coming out March 22nd. Uh, yep. so it's law? Yeah, law book. It's a Ye book four. <clears throat> yeah. How many, car is, how many cards are in the set? Like, Which set? Yeah, so the law book, does it come with a set attached to it? Or is it just a book? It's uh, any archetypes that have been out in yeah. the last year since release. All so and it's just a book for them? Yes. No set? Correct. Right. Yep. Just catches you up on all of the stories, except only in the OCG, because for some reason they don't think the TCG would be interested. It means we Shut get up. a Light Swan story. <laughs> Yay! You reckon? No. So Did Light Swan have a swallow, solo mode yet? A swallow. Yeah, yeah, they have two... Wait, that means we can play Light Swan in... Yeah. So most of it's going to be the, the end of Vesus stuff, yeah? Well, they haven't finished Vesus, have they? Uh, I think it ended on a cliffhanger. I activate Yeah, so research. they've got to get all that written down on paper. I mean, we all do... we know the story. It's it's pretty oh, and then they'll talk about bloody um, Diablo same. stuff. Yeah, we get to know what the go is there. Yeah. Why her sister's trying to steal her dog. It's because she was having sex with the goblins. <laughs> Moving on to the cards, though, we have uh, the beginning of the year of water, uh, Fish Borg uh. Harpuna, level 4 water fish tuna. Uh, reveal this card to one other water monster in your hand, special summon one, and if you do, discard the other. If this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a sink or a summon of a water monster, you can negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn. Yes. It's not bad. It's they not need bad. to legalise Fish, fish Borg <laughs> Blaster? Fish Fist board <laughs> Fish bird. God. <sighs> oh, I know funky. what I was looking for. The will to live. You reckon? Yeah, maybe. I've got plenty of that. That's why I'm here. As long as my opening five cards are these five cards, I'm good. Uh, alright, alright, alright. That right. seems oh my bad. God. This search is Weiss. Which puts this back on top of the deck and then nills it. And then you can free summon this from your hand. Anyway, um, also in the next set, we uh, get a maths card. Yay! It's the Bi Yuli math card. Yeah, so I can't remember what the last one was called, but this one is called Equation System Canon. Uh, banish two Xyz with, uh, with oh, the same is... rank and one fusion monster. From your extra deck, whose combined levels and ranks equal the total number of cards on the field and in both players' hands, then you can return one of each of your banished fusion and Xyz monsters to the extra deck, whose combined level and rank equal the level and rank <laughs> of one face-up monster your opponent controls, then banish all cards your opponent controls. This so if you get so the maths right that's on this, it's a big payoff. That's so much for such fucking shit effect. Is it a shit effect to banish everything your opponent controls? This is what's on the field. Especially if you're against last one. Oh, I knew one of you motherfuckers was going to say that. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry, but my last one synchro says the last ones cannot be banished. You're I kind of out here doing the math and you're like, continue. I have imperial anger. Please show me you're working out. Oh, I'm sorry, that doesn't resolve. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it does resolve, uh, but mm, they stay. Sorry. Anyway, no one's going to play it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, also a trap card. What people might play, though, Rollback. is the new Memento support that's coming out in Light of Destruction, or Legacy of Destruction. I keep calling it Light of Destruction, which was the OG. It's this. Yeah, that one. Uh, so that's what this says. They get a fusion, the Mentolian Twin Dragon, which is based on uh, Twin Headed Twin Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon. Yeah. Uh, so materials are just two memento monsters. Uh, it has three effects. If this card's fusion summon, destroy one. Hmm? It's at least a thunder. It is a thunder. Level yeah. seven light thunder dragon fusion. Oh. Lightning. 
Oh, sorry. Thunder fusion, not dragon fusion. Anyway, um, if this card is fusion summoned, destroy one memento monster in your hand or face up field. And if you do, add up to two memento monsters with different names from each of uh, each other from your deck to your hand. Monsters destroyed by battle with your memento monsters are vanished. Uh, if this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can special summon one level six or lower memento monster from your graveyard. Yeah, and we, you're popping it immediately on summon, right? I so mean, ideally, yeah. yeah. You summon it, pop it, so you get that and then two more. Yeah. And the uh, fusion's real fucking easy as well. Yeah, because they also have a fusion spell. Uh, Mementolan Fusion. Uh, during the main phase, fusion... Oh, quick it's a play. quick play. Yeah. yeah. During the main phase, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a memento monster. If a monster or monsters you can, in your possession was destroyed by a card effect this turn, you can also use memento monsters in your graveyard as material by shuffling them into the deck. Who would have thought? I kind of like that time because it's <laughs> like Thunder Dragon Fusion. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I'm Don't shuffle back from your banish. Yeah. Well, you don't want them banished anyway. Yeah. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, destroy one monster you control, and if yeah. you do, add a memento spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Yeah. So then when you get the three out, then you go, and then keep going. It's pretty it's, cool. It's good for the archetype. I didn't see them getting a fusion. I thought it might be a link. <laughs> yeah. But fusion makes sense. Yeah. Especially a free fusion. You just got to get started. How yeah. to start, like, yeah, so I started going through going, mm, sure there's a way to make this streamline, but I haven't got my head around it yet. I'm yeah. sure there's combos already on YouTube, though. But Some. they'll be poo. <laughs> they won't be as good as the one that I know that I can do, but just can't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we uh, have a little bit more news about the uh, two-player starter decks. Um, <laughs> there was a time when they could have been good. <laughs> that time has since passed. That time apparently passed the moment they announced the two cards that were headlining the decks. Because it seems like from that point forward, they were just like, eh. Yeah, doesn't seem amazing. Much needed Golden Lord reprint in Max Rarity. Oh yeah, we definitely didn't just get seven of those. Beautiful. Yeah. No, but this we didn't the, get a common this, one. Yeah, this is the best one of all. Yeah, actually disgusting. Hardest version to get. Yeah. Well... Yeah, because you have to buy 39 other garbage cards. <laughs> hey, Ryan Rand's card cool! Are hmm? they 20 card pack decks or 40 card decks? I assumed it would be 40 cards, but it's probably more than that. It's probably end up, like, including the extra, it's probably 46. I even watched the playthrough of it. I... You watched a playthrough of it? Yeah. Damn. Was it? Were they both 40? But yeah, my god. The script... Is, is there any way that that lasts... That that takes less than 40 minutes to do? No. So, time in the round. That's well, it point. depends if you're following the script and you can read. Not so fast! Sydney. <laughs> I activate a trap card. <laughs> yes. Threatening roar. <laughs> Is that, that's in there, isn't it? I get like it's just the commons, like the the vanillas are just so. You could have at least put it on theme, like put one as Utopia, the other as Manadium. Like both cards have their trash stuff that you could use as the disposal part of the intro game, but they just printed literal vanillas. Like it will bad. It. <sighs> it's a step, maybe. No, it's not. It's a. It's a step. It's just a step. We'll get there. It's a step in the right direction. No, that's it. I'm not. If by right direction, it's off a cliff. Yay! But the cliff is to the left. <laughs> uh, and then finally. One hop this time. It's funny because the bike go broom. Lastly, in news, we have another V Jump promo having been hinted at. Uh, so this one having blue eyes uh, very prominent in the artwork. <laughs> a card used by Kaiba, Kaiba in Yu-Gi-Oh! evolves to a new effect. Uh, so they're going to be calling it Spell Card Soul Exchange. Oh, yeah. yeah. So similar to Spell Card Monster Reborn. Why have they been doing these lazy-ass fucking names lately? I don't know. Jerome's not back from holiday, clearly, I don't think. He had some stuff sort of set for before he left, but, like, he's still in, I don't know, Barbados. And people have to like put Drum names on shit. can't go to Barbados. He'd get burned. It's not burned. So I don't remember. Does Soul Exchange have the battle claw, battle phase clause in the anime? Hmm. No. 
No, no, because he wants to use it in the Ishizu match, and sh that's a part of the whole thing. If he attacks with it, it breaks stuff. So, well, that's a god card, though. Yeah, I wonder. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, I'm just wondering if it's them just trying to make soul exchange without the slowing the slow effect because it just wouldn't matter anymore. See, here's the problem. It's not a quick effect. Yeah. Why not? The other one was a quick effect. It uh, lacks the uh, lightning symbol, which denotes a quick play spell card. Once again, Kylie gets the worst support of the two. <laughs> <laughs> Once again. <laughs> no. Um... But yeah, so... Will it just be soul exchange, but without? I feel like it's going to end up being specifically for like dragons or some shit. So uh, I've just realised that this is the V jump promo for February. Probably. Yeah, we get it on Feb seven. Are we going to get a whole fucking year of these cards? I hope not. Spell card, graceful dice. To start going through the protagonist. No, I saw the other day actually that um, Rushdoor's got a um, graceful and sinful dice archetype. Like, there's a whole range of cards. Oh, so that's where they're going to be doing that then. Ooh. Well, what else does Joey use? Grave Robber! Also, continue. So, uh, moving on to some questions. If you weren't aware, we do have Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Didn't um, line there. No. Uh, first question this week, I believe, comes from... I believe. Jesse. Uh, if you wanted to buy a single deck that would survive years unhit for, say, a younger or more cost-effective player... Um, he's put that in inverted thingies, so I believe he just didn't want to say the pause. Ah! He almost got to pass me with the coding. Mm. I don't think he, no, no one will get that reference because I don't think anyone else has seen that movie yet. Uh, so, what yeah. would you recommend? And crucially, Check out why? Seen world premieres. Lights one. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But seriously, kinda. <laughs> yeah, seriously, kinda. Um, salad. Striker. They ain't hitting. They ain't hitting striker no more. But it's also not. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even when they hit Striker, it's still playable. Salad has like one card that's over ten dollars. Two cards if you can't access code, but hey, it's getting reprinted, so hey. Three cards if you count the new support that no one bought. Oh, I counted that. That was my one card. Well, it's two cards in there you need. Oh, two copies of it. No, 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 no. You're just thinking of the Link Four. There's oh. also the main deck monster. There's a main deck monster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew that. But it's yeah, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Hot to and Man. the princess. Garbage. Yeah, yeah it's getting expensive. Off. You know what? Don't buy, don't buy that deck no more. Time for a cheaper deck. Time for a cheaper deck called Flaunderies. Yeah, I was thinking birds. <laughs> yeah, that deck's already been hit, so you don't need to worry about it. Exactly. <laughs> Just like Striker. Although if it loses Shifter, it's kind of fucked. But they still have win... Like, you still have completely reasonable win cons in Flaunderies still. Yeah. Like, like your opponent playing Link Monsters and auto losing. <laughs> yeah. Just run good cards. Yes. I'd say... Invoked, because I think oh. it got talked over before. It has yet. Yeah, it has yet to be by hit. design. It has yet to be hit. Yeah, but you don't want you don't want to re raisin. Remember when it won a YCS? No. Three years ago and three years after it came out. <laughs> that was the time to be alive. Fuck, we're nearly at ten years. No, nah. are we nearly at the anniversary of Alistair? We've almost had ten years of Alistair. Oh, oh my god! No, we're a bit off that. Well, it's been seven, hasn't it? Yeah, Alistair's in primary school. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you feel old. Oh, um, on Alistair as well, with the... Um, Reprint? Law book. Ah. Um, apparently, young Alistair is on the cover of the book in the OCG. Well, I say the OCG, it's the only place it's coming out. So, so Jake's going to learn kanji. No, he's not. He's going to wait for someone else to translate and then read that. Um, Jake's going to be lazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, history would dictate. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, from the little bits of information we do have of that, Magistus is, like, a more heavily Link? featured component of the law book. Like, Sky Striker will obviously be the heaviest because of Sky Striker. How old were you giving the Alistair deck to? How, like, how old's the, the person we're building this deck for? Uh, doesn't specify an age, just a 16. person who is younger or cost-effective slash poor. Younger. 16. 16. Yeah. 
they, they can read about Alistair. Oh, you mean the actual Alistair? Well, as soon as, as, soon as you start Googling. Did you mean the actual Alistair? No. Well, no one younger than 16 should be looking that up. <laughs> no. no. Next question. Bad Next question comes to us from 6 i 6 What is your favourite slogan from a product reel or from TV series? Uh, bonus points on offer if another c for g person can guess the product without saying the name of said product. We're talking you here or just general products? Just products. Uh, so products. He, so the one that he put as an example is ah, cool. um, product name here. The only teeth strong enough to eat other teeth. Does anyone understand that reference? Because I certainly don't. No, it's from a show. Well, it's yeah. From the Simpsons. It's definitely not an actual product. Is it from the, is it from Futurama? I'm not familiar. It feels with like a Futurama reference. So Whiteman's teeth or something like that. I don't know. But the first thing I thought when I popped it's his head is definitely like, Futurama. It's a intro on an episode, and it's the guy. He's got a huge teeth, and he gets a spoonful of teeth out of a cereal bowl, and he's like, ah, oh. ah, uh, uh, yeah, that does sound vaguely familiar. Yeah. Anyway, favorite product slogan. Uh, I saw this bird in half. <laughs> Oh, they they hate flex seal. I guess you haven't seen. Oh, that, that guy. Yeah, no, I haven't seen that. No, we just but constantly I, but destroys when I, boats. Yeah, well, when I when Greta I, would hate him. <laughs> yeah, well, no, because boats use petrol. <laughs> yeah, and he's cutting them up. Yeah, but then they can't use petrol no more. Well, no, even the sailboats. But then he seals them. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. With but tape. yeah, any time that I think about slogans, like now, because it is so like heavily in like Yu-Gi-Oh memes in particular, all I can think of is like, now that's a lot of damage. That's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? How's that on the cringe meter for you? It's also pretty up there. Number. It's four, when he hits that register. There's just something yeah. there. Yeah, it's when he when he lifts his voice in a positive way. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, positive Jake. <laughs> positive Jake is cringe. <laughs> yeah, positive Jake is cringe. <laughs> You all fucking suck. <laughs> miserable bitches. I like miserable Jake. <laughs> He's good company. You would, because my slump makes my posture small enough that you're taller on the soapbox. Yeah. I won't take that step. Um, yeah. Say um, your slogan. No. Oh, yeah. Don't, I said, don't say the other thing. I don't know what my, st- my slogan is. Uh, Check this out. Yeah, it's a great slogan. Make not have a... I don't know. Yeah, considering all I do is watch ads, I'm struggling <laughs> to think of slogans. I'm trying to think of something that's international because I can think of a million things that are very hyper localized for us. Bong, clap, bong, clap, 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 clap. And the Reading Running Hotline. Is that a slogan? Yeah. One, three, it's more of a jingle. Oh, six, triple, five, oh, six. What a banger. Call the Reading and Writing Hotline. You yeah. need it because you play Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Um, the main one that came to mind for me, and I don't think I've seen it outside of this meme, but there was a YouTuber a little while back named Clowny Knight. I don't know if he still does content because he had issues with his channel, but when he did Wait, a rocket profile... Did find issues with his channel? Um, it got hacked. Ah, uh, it was. it's either that or he said the N-word. It was going to be one of the two. But he anyway, does play you yeah. His password. Wow. <laughs> anyway, when he did a rocket... Um, deck profile slash replay video at the very beginning like it was a meme from ages ago and it was like brand new kitchen gun <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon mbt's password is the n word surely no m coles is surely oh yeah no that's true yeah and maybe maybe a six and a nine on the end just to be safe next question next and last question comes to us from ragai do you guys listen to other Yu-Gi-Oh podcasts uh, deliber- no, by design. When was this question posted? Uh, January 21st. Today? Yeah. Why are you listening to Farthest Podcast, Raga? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's episode one. I, I get it. It's what? good to give it a shot. Like, no, this yeah. is... What? Oh, episode one on the new continuity. Uh, yeah, he started a new podcast with Joshua Schmidt. The first episode came out this morning. Yeah. 14 Who hours was ago. Was his last one with Joshua Schmidt as well? No, he... Oh, uh, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, he does... Episode pod- one... <laughs> It's Look, out now. It's on a new channel. It's on its own channel. Is he running his podcast like Bandai? 
Yes. This is a brand new podcast. Ignore these three podcasts Ignore that are exactly the same that have happened over the last five years. We didn't power creep that podcast at all. <laughs> Look, <laughs> there's a lot. Uh, also, I don't. I refuse to acknowledge podcasts that do not have RSS feeds and aren't in podcatchers. So, if I imagine he's done the same thing he always does and just puts it on YouTube, it's not. He's made a new channel, so that might mean he's also uploading it on Fuck. audio. If yeah, this is gonna kill me. Also, I mean, maybe no. I shouldn't listen because I like having my own thoughts. I don't know. It's just I rather operate in our own space and then. Whatever's whatever. I listen to enough other podcasts that I don't have time to listen to your yeah, podcast. I yep. tried again just to see what other people are doing. I just can't. I don't know if it's just like my feed is like not particularly good with the podcast that's trying to feed me, but like, th- and this is not a disparity to any of them. I'm sure they're fine, but um, scapegoats. Mm. I can't. Mm. There was um, another one, but it didn't actually talk about the physical game. It only ever talked about the anime. Oh yeah, there's so there's a lot of anime podcasts, a lot, but like just the Yu Gi Oh anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah. why are you over analyzing this? Like, mm. we're effectively getting it secondhand already after the translations. Like, it's mm. yeah. Uh, and then I refuse to listen to anything that fucking Pack has to say, so I won't be listening to the goo. Um, the that's still going. I don't know. The I swear that it lasted like two episodes. Good. Oh yeah, most of them fall off. The the who? Wait, who's on the 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 Jewel Academy one or whatever it is? I thought they did one episode of that. Was that that the official Canadian one? No, no, no. Like the they Bowden and um, um. I haven't heard anything about that for ages. Uh, who is uh, it would have been Levine probably yeah yeah yep yeah. yep yeah, yeah. and then who's who's the other one but yeah like theirs seems okay like I mean they all I mean they all top events and stuff so they get a bit more in the weeds yeah I just don't think there's a massive amount of money to be made in long form Yu-Gi-Oh content so like a lot of big YouTubers who have the means to grab like these large nets put a lot of effort into the first episode and then go, oh, I'll put a little in the next. And they don't really make much money off it. And then they're like, I'll just go to the content that makes me money. Because, yeah. like, for th- this is completely from what things look like on my side. Mm. Like, I make a lot of money on YouTube if I'm pumping out short form deck profiles and everything. Like, the current content that I upload does not make me shit. Like, if I put in the effort, but then that meant burnout and I'm. We're in the long weeds of Ben not producing content at the pace that he used to anymore. Um, but yeah, that's 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 probably why. They probably just don't make a lot of money. They make one or two episodes, they realise it's way too much effort, and it's probably difficult to get like guests for every episode. And that's and yeah, like that's they they approach podcasts everyone approaches podcasts in a weird way. I've always approached it as the internet radio where it's like, hey, we're just putting on a show. I think like eight, seven years ago, six, seven years ago, whenever it was, when Farfa was producing like Table 500 content with like all of his friends, mm-hmm. there was probably a market there that if they made a podcast, it I probably was... would have been quick, easy, they could have just talk shit for an hour and people would have ate that shit up. I was thinking that. The that only issue made... with it would have Bang. been the amount of swear words they would have had would have been really hard. Mm. Uh, it's fine. As long as you don't swear in the opening two minutes, Jake, uh, we don't get demonetized. Also, I mean, not for YouTube as well, right? Yeah. You can put that on audio platforms. Listen to us on Spotify. Or wherever you get your podcasts from. Yeah. Apple Podcasts. Frag, you're supposed to interject here with the one that makes us the most money. Do any of them make us any money? Nah. Nah, Spotify. Probably. Listen to us on Spotify. But there's so many app. There's so many Apple podcasts, and that's where they like, and like that's our bread and butter. Like that was the first catcher that we could properly submit to because Apple was just weirdly easy to work with seven years ago. Much like Mr. Beast, we'll be uploading directly to X. Eight, seven, seven. A bit. We won't be uploading exclusive content or anything new. We'll be uploading to X. I considered it. Just put it. Just putting them up there. Why not? But we could, just... we could easily get a million views on X. Well, there'll be bots, though. Oh, well. It also 
view and uh, view on X we is like have literally it. you scroll past it on your feed. We have a Twitter as well, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Don't know who has the password. But it exists. Well, it's either Tom or Lachlan time. and neither of them would remember. Nope. If it's Lachlan it's been hacked. <laughs> <laughs> Poor did you did you. You just had to use that password. You racist Lachlan. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason that he's not on here anymore and has a skinhead. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, he did shave it, didn't he? I'm surprised he wasn't here. That concludes us for today. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. As said, if you are listening along, feel free to favourite us. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, leave us some questions for next week, and we'll catch you all then. Peace. The audio on this episode is going to be fucked, so I apologise. Goodbye.